Happy Sabbath, you two. Hope you're all enjoying the ghost town that is the world right now. Today's Transformers reveal is one that I've been building up to through smaller Autobots to bigger Autobots to even bigger Decepticons. And then last week, a little blip with the uh, bit of a practical joke that was Soundwave's cassette tape minions. But this week's, it might be obvious by now who this is. Is there any more granddaddy of a Decepticon there is other than the leader, Megatron? Megatron, Optimus Prime's nemesis, granddaddy of the Decepticons, ruthless leader. He's just as likely to blast his own troops as he is to blast an Autobot. Now, I'm not sure the exact folklore behind the G1 cartoon because they don't really go into much backstory uh, that I can remember anyways, but in the movie lore and comic book lore and such, Megatron was... Uh, uh, on Cybertron originally it was like they had a cast system there so every Transformer is created with a spark and they're destined to be something uh, and they didn't really have any choice over it so Orion Pax was uh, who was Optimus Prime originally was like a, an administrative clerical kind of guy that worked in I think the archives or something and Megatron was a gladiator uh, also went by Megatronus I believe and he longed for a better life than just of fighting random bots for other bots entertainment. And so he rose up and, and challenged the system and forged actually a friendship with Orion Pax that uh, eventually though their beliefs, uh, not their beliefs, uh, they both believed in the same thing and, and of creating kind of freedom for all robots uh, to choose what they want to be and what they want to do, but they had different means of doing it. Optimus Primes was a more academic, challenge the laws, get the leadership of Cybertron to change the ways, uh, uh, you know, peacefully and through through laws and such. Megatron was more like, well, we'll just kick everybody's ass who doesn't believe in this and eventually we will take it by force, right? So then that's when they became diverged, when the whole Autobot Decepticon causes arose and eventually what led to the civil war on Cybertron and the Autobots leaving in the Ark, the Decepticons pursuing them, and then them eventually reawakening on Earth all those years later to renew the battle on a different battlefield. Megatron is much like Soundwave, he, or Shockwave, he turns into a gun. And uh, again, you have that, uh, that cartoon lore, all right, where this giant robot can turn into this tiny handgun that one of the other Decepticons could fire at, at an Autobot. So again, you have to suspend the magic and the belief. Uh, but he he turned this into a gun, and I remember as a kid, he was one of the most desired uh, Transformers there was. Now his mold, when he turned into a robot form, was like, okay, that's kind of suspect. Like it was really herky-jerky, like parts sticking out, but it's just back then, you know, they, they only had what they were working with uh, technology-wise at the time, and that's the best they could come up with. But it didn't stop everybody from wanting this guy so bad. And speaking of the G1 toy, here is a look at it right now. So as you can see, not the best of robot modes for the granddaddy of the Decepticons, but still, everybody wanted them. I never had them, so that's what makes this so special all these years later. And as you can see, this is the biggest box so far, so he's going to, I assume, be the biggest robot I have un unboxed so far. Uh, just so you can get a sense of Megatron and his personality, um, his no holds barred, uh, screw everyone kind of attitude. Here is a, an early engagement, uh, I think the second or third episode, well, no, because it started with a mini series, a three part mini series. So this is somewhere within the second to fifth episode of the original G1's cartoon. Have a look at uh, Megatron in action. Gather the Energon cubes! Return to base! Stick it in neutral, Megatron! You're not going anywhere! Try and stop me, Prime! <laughs> Someone who doesn't like 
back to fight. <laughs> You're not bad, Mirage. Any last words? None you'd want to hear, Megatron. Nothing can stop me now. Not even you! So long, Autobots. Here's one Starscream's been saving for you. <laughs> Everything you touch, Megatron. Because everything I touch is food for my hunger. My hunger for power! No. I'm going to end your hunger once and for all. Almost time. But almost doesn't get the job done. You can't stop me. You're old, Megatron. Yesterday's model, ready for the scrap heap. We'll see who's ready for the scrap heap. Junk. That's what you are. Junk. Silence! <laughs> when I'm through with you, Pry, there won't be enough pieces to swim. <laughs> So there you get a sense of uh, what he was like. His voice was awesome. Uh, he was just a ruthless, brutal Decepticon who wanted what he wanted, and it was no holds barred, no cost. Whatever he wanted, he got, and it didn't matter who got in his way along the way. Now, speaking of the G1 mold and stuff, like the gun uh, in the original toy was awesome. It looked just like it should have, right? And then you had all you could add on the the you know the stabilizer stock or whatever the hell that is. Uh, and then the, the side the scope up top and then the silencer or whatever that is so you can make this big long gun or you can just take it all off and have the regular handgun and uh, This is a funny story. I when I went to Florida as a young kid I was probably you know, eight or nine or something like that and We could we couldn't find the Megatron toy. I thought well, I can't find it in Canada Maybe mom and dad and it, we can find it for me when we go to Florida in the States, right? Toys R Us and everywhere was sold out, but they had like a knockoff version of it and so I was like well better than nothing right so it was probably cheaper too but then when, when we were flying home uh, to back to Canada from the airport I had Megatron with me and I had him in gun form and the security guards were like you can't take that on the flight and I'm like well here it's a toy you know like it's a robot toy and I, I had him in gun form and I shot the little tiny bullet that came out of it the little plastic thing and it went Dew! right and it's like no you're gonna have to uh, check that here and we'll mail it to you and I was so pissed off I never get angry but as a kid like that was me at one of my most livid states right it was like and back then when they didn't even care about that stuff like today okay I kind of get it but back then they didn't give a shit what you did on the airlines but anyways I just that's one of my you know least loved memories from when I was a kid when they took my fake Megatron away it did eventually show up I think it was broken and stuff but I did eventually get it back but it was uh I'm still bitter about it all these years later, but hopefully this will make it all better. So, let's get him out of the box and see what this glorious bastard looks like. Here we go with the unboxing of G1 Megatron. He's simply called Megatron. You can't, you can't call him by any other name, right? So big. That's what she said. like Soundwave, Megatron so far is the only other bot that comes with an actual like booklet instead of like the instruction fold out pages. Collector's card. Some beautiful art. There's the booklet from Megatron. Now I'm hoping despite the giant booklet he's just as easy to transform as Shockwave was because um, it's just a gun right? Like how hard can it be? 
But here, he has come in robot form. Shockwave actually came in, uh, in gun form, so I was expecting him to come in gun form. But obviously, that is not the case here. He's heavy too. Like this is the first one that's like super heavy. He must have some actual metal in there. So there is the Megatron. And then we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Who baby? What is this? This looks like some sort of mystical key or something and it's actual metal it's heavy so there's the stabilizer i don't even know what these called people who like guns are probably other going this guy doesn't know what he's talking about but it's the thing you know that put you up against your shoulder or whatever that keeps it stable some sort of helmet device from an episode i'm sure oh uh, here's the thing that you saw in the uh the video clip there when he's fighting with prime on the dam he swings his energy mace at him Here we have a damaged front to put on him if you want him to have authentic battle damage. And then here is the, I, I guess, small mold of his gun. I don't know why it's purple, but that's kind of weird. But anyways, unless it's supposed to be something else. Like and we have this, which I'm not sure what that is. It looks like more chains for his energon mace in case you want it maybe stiffer so you can actually have it like in swinging and in motion. And then this little sword here, I'm not sure what that is. I'm sure that's from some episode as well. And we got the big barrel to go on the end. Um, and then we got three different faces. We have what looks like shocked or surprised or angry Megatron. We got amused Megatron. And then we've got more authentic battle damage Megatron. So as you can see, he comes with a bunch of stuff, and he is huge, and he is heavy, and he is awesome. So I'm going to switch over to time lapse, get him transformed into gun, so you can see what it looks like, and uh, and then I'll transform him back because that's the way I'm going to put him on the shelf, and uh, yeah, and then we'll be nearly done. As you can see by the time lapse, I was not able to get him into gun mode. His transformation compared to Shockwave's was a thousand percent more difficult. I was I struggled through the top half getting uh, you know the, the barrel and stuff transformed, but I got it through it. And then when I got to the feet, getting them lined up to get everything tucked in where it should have been to create the uh, the handhold uh, stock or whatever, it just didn't line up. Things seemed to be a little off. And uh, I was probably just doing it wrong or, or didn't get what the instructions were telling me. But at that point, I was getting frustrated and I was like, you know what? I just don't want to break this. <laughs> this is like one of the ones I was most looking forward to. I don't want to break it. I would have loved to have hold him in gun mode and, and trick him all out. But this is what I'm after. The robot mode, as I am with all of them, really. Um, this is just unbelievable. And apparently he has batteries in here that could make, I guess, sounds and light or something. Um, didn't come with them so I have so many little tiny watch batteries to get I just can't find them or, or I can find them but they're not cheap so I've kind of been putting it off 
but uh, I, I want to get that just like with Shockwave and, and see kind of what sounds they can make and stuff. So, but uh, as you can see, this is like unbelievable. And from the pictures that uh, uh, are, I just showed also, um, this is awesome. I put on his angry attack face and uh, mounted his, his blaster because that's, that's Megatron to me is him firing away with that thing. But uh, yeah, this is the biggest robot I have. Uh, not by a lot, there's a few guys that are close, but I think he is definitely the tallest and the heaviest. So um, I saved the best for last, obviously. And, uh, and yeah, that's just, he was expensive, but uh, with all my survey bucks, it was an easy purchase, uh, easy decision. And I'm so glad I got him. He just looks fantastic. And um, I've got a, one open spot left on my shelf right now for him. So any ones I'm gonna get in the future, I'm gonna have to do another rearrange to get them fitted in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I, I don't have any more right now of the masterpiece, but I do have some, uh, one on the way and some other ones that I plan to order as soon as the exchange rate goes back down due to all this COVID nonsense. Uh, so I will have some more of these, uh, one more in the near future and then probably some more, I don't know when, but eventually. And uh, But I do have some other unboxings to do that are uh, both related and unrelated to Transformers. So until the next one, don't get blasted.